So a few weeks back, I was hanging out in my kitchen, right up here in this window, and I hear an absolute ruckus outside. The chickens are absolutely going nuts. So I run downstairs and out to the chicken yard. And right in this very spot, I see a dog. Just a normal domestic dog, basically a Siberian Husky. He's got a collar on, he's got a leash on. But I also see two dead ducks and a dead chicken and another chicken that's really clearly injured. So I start thinking about the upcoming winter. You know, last winter we had the issues with the hawks. Uh, we've had issues with coyotes this year. So I need to really beef up my security, get the chickens safe so that we get eggs all through the winter. So what was my solution? I decided to build a greenhouse. So here's the greenhouse. It's really, really simple. I used basically the same construction methods that I did with my $25 greenhouse last spring. It's basically just some wood supports and some uh, plastic electrical conduit stuck in the ground with some rebar stakes. Let me show you right inside. Inside we've got all the chickens, we've got their food and their water, we've got a couple of makeshift nest boxes here, I'll tell you more about that later. We've got their perches here where they sleep at night. And it's really been a fantastic system, I mean it just it stays warm, it's always at least 10 to 20 degrees warmer than it is outside. And I don't know if you noticed this or not, but I built this greenhouse directly over where my garden is usually located. So all throughout the winter, my chickens are going to scratch. So I'm going to throw all my food scraps in there. I throw any kind of compost materials in there. They're going to scratch it, break it down, and poop in it, make it super duper fertile. I'm going to have an awesome garden solution in the spring. I'm sure you remember last January when I planted starts with my soil blocker. Soil We're going to do that again as well. Start plants inside and then we'll move into the greenhouse. So I'll be able to start all of my tomatoes and peppers and other you know, frost unfriendly plants in this greenhouse in this super fertile soil and it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to work out really great but we'll keep you guys posted.